<clears throat> Absolutely, could be one of those uh, turnaround candidates. Uh, so keep an eye uh, on uh, AB Capital. All right, Five Star Business Finance, which recently listed, I mean, it's uh, what, seven days old in capital markets. It uh, managed growth and margin improvement in second quarter on lower interest costs, but higher operating expenses and provisioning. Uh, which uh, kept the profit in check. We have Lakshmi Pathi uh, Deen Dhailan, a CMD at uh, Five Star Business, now uh, joining us uh, to run us through what uh, things are looking like now. So, good morning. Great to have you with us here. Thanks very much, Prashant, this side. Uh, could you uh, run us through some, uh, so, so, you know, basic numbers? What was, uh, what was uh, sort of uh, growth in uh, disbursements like in the quarter? Uh, you know, what did it do to your AUM overall? Uh, what is the average ticket size that you saw? Was that materially different from previous uh, quarters? Uh, and, of course, margins. Go on, sir. Yeah. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, uh, Prashant, uh, uh, last quarter was a very good quarter for Five Star. Uh, as you rightly said, the AUM has moved up 8% uh, comparing to June to September. Uh, that's due to good disbursements that we are, what we have done in last quarter. We have added close to 41 branches in last quarter, which was the highest uh, addition of branches uh, ever in Five Star. So close to 600 people have joined Five Star in last quarter. And um, yes, uh, the asset quality across all buckets have improved in last quarter. So uh, I think overall, the positive momentum comparing to June to September, we I think this is one of the best quarter that ever Five Star has seen uh, after COVID uh, hit us. Good morning, sir. You know, the problem right now is the cost of borrowing could go up. So in that sort of a backdrop, how do you see your NIMS shaping up from year on? They've been quite elevated as well. But, you know, could you tell us, will you be able to pass that on or the cost of borrowing could eat into that? Yeah, I just wanted to give this clarity uh, uh, to everyone. Uh, Five Star is, uh, even comparing to last quarter to this quarter, the, the cost of borrowing has come down. You can see in our uh, Q on Q performance, uh, we were borrowing somewhere close to around 11.5% uh, 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 two years down the line. But today we are borrowing at 8.5%, 8.5 to 8.75%. Almost there is a drop of 250 bips, uh, even in the current environment where RBI has raised their repo close to uh, 190 uh, bips. So very sweetly uh, positioned because of our good capital adequacy, profitability and quality, we were able to attract uh, uh, big lenders, big borrowing uh, uh, from the marquee uh, lenders, both in public and private sector banks, at a very, very uh, 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 good uh, cost. So we have not had uh, transformed the, uh, uh, brought down the borrowing cost to the customers because we were uh, just waiting to see when the interest rate uh, cycle is going to peak up. Once we get the signal that interest rate uh, cycle is picked up, Definitely, we'll be transferring uh, 100 to 150 uh, uh, bips to our customers mm. uh, so that uh, 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 the lending cost will drop down from 24% to close to 22.5 to 23. So that is the sweet spot where Five Star is today positioned. Uh, we don't see any kind of contraction in NIMS and spreads. Mm. But, uh, sir, incrementally, uh, that was a two-year period, right, from 11.5 to about 8.75. You, you don't see any, any uh, upward movement at all? Especially because uh, given the fact that you, you do operate in the underserved tier 3 to tier th 6 uh, city uh, cities, right? Uh, so, uh, of course, I mean, the management of uh, the business has been excellent and you've got a long track record. Uh, so, I'm assuming you've got strong relationships with banks as well. But you don't, you're not seeing any upward movement? Because if, if one is to go by uh, sort of what economists, etc., forecast, there's another 50 to 75 uh, basis point increase in policy rate. Uh, which will translate to bank lending rates as well. Yeah, go on. Uh, uh, your point is right, uh, Prashant. Uh, from a from a NBFC uh, perspective, definitely the the lending rates has to go up when the borrowing rates are going up. What I was saying is, even from comparing to last quarter to this quarter, our team was as able to bring down the cost of borrowing to close to 0.75 to 0.5 uh, percent. So because we were borrowing at a costlier fund earlier. Uh, because of a rating improvement and uh, good quality and profitability and, and, and uh, good capitalized, banks are able to underwrite the risk of five star and the risk premium is low. So that is why we are able to bring down our cost of fund. Uh, I don't see that even in next two to three quarters, even there is going to be an increase of 50 to 75 bips, as you mentioned. 
there is no need to transfer this cost of uh, increase to the customer side because our, our cost of borrowing on the book is 10.5. We are borrowing at 8.75. Even there is an increase of 0.75, as you said, uh, still our cost of funds at the book level will come down. So there is no need of uh, transferring this uh, increase in cost of funds to the borrowers. Uh, morning. Uh, the last time we chatted, you said your AUM is close to about 6,000 crore rupees, which is significantly higher than what it was. Could you tell us by the end of the year, FY23, what could the number look like? Um, as, as of September, we are at 5,730 crores. Uh, as I said, uh, we have we are added uh, close to 80 branches in last uh, uh, six, nine months. Uh, so the disbursement is also healthy. Uh, we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, close to 6,500 crores. Uh, or a, a growth of 30% by this financial year end. Okay, all right, good speaking to you, sir. Thanks so much uh, for joining.